Hey everyone, Bricknut here. In this video, we're going to have a look through a box of models which I've had sitting around for a while and uh, I'd actually totally forgotten they existed. Um, so, let's crack on, shall we? So, here's a little box. There's uh, a lot more in here than there looks. <laughs> And to be honest, I've totally forgotten what is in here. Or why I even put them in here. Oh, I remember. Ooh, these have been in here for about a year. That's when I totally um, redecorated the flat. I had to box a lot of models like this so I could keep them safe. And uh, yeah, totally forgot. Although it does look like the sun has gotten to some of these. So I've got this boat here, but I can't remember what the set number is and it's lost, oh no it hasn't, it's here, if I can get a hold of it. I'm going to say it lost its little uh, beacon thing which goes there. I seriously need to get some hydrogen peroxide because I've got so much white Lego that's not really looking very white at the minute. I can't... Oh. I think that's the set number on the side there. Most likely, as Lego likes to do that with a lot of their sets. <sighs> There's dust and all sorts on these as well. Uh, the SUV for this is up on the shelf. Oh yeah, I put this in here because I didn't have any room for it. Some of this I could actually um, dismantle now. Because I've got nowhere to put it, really. <laughs> uh, right. What else? Oh yeah, this has got a few bits missing because it fell off the window ledge. But that needs a good clean and I'll find the instructions so I can replace the missing parts. And, uh, another one I forgot I had. That needs a good clean. So we got a dinky little tow truck, 1970s. I do. I love these little sets. I wouldn't mind some more. What else? I've got a forklift truck. I can't remember what set that came from. Although I have noticed it's lost its rear lights. That's supposed to be on there. Uh. The electric car from a Lego Creator set. And again, I can't remember the number. Oh dear. This one has actually yellowed quite a lot, unfortunately. I don't know how, because this has been in the shade for most of the time. Ah! This probably went yellow when this was on the window ledge as well. Just, um... Some friendly advice. Don't leave Lego, especially white Lego models, on a window ledge where it's going to be on, in um, direct sunlight, it's not a good idea. <laughs> As you can see, oof, some of this is filthy in here, what have we got now? I'm sure I've already got one of these somewhere. I'm just looking on my shelf, I can't see it over there, but... Oh yeah, I have, I've already got... See, I could make some room, because I could dismantle that. I don't need two of these made up, do I? Uh, jet engine for an aeroplane? Just a random jet engine in here? I know where that can go, though. Right, police cars. And another one. Dirty as freak. And they're yellowing already. That is really annoying me, looking through this, you know. I mean, that's not that old, and look at how, I don't know if it's going to come up on camera, but that's uh, starting to yellow. Especially that bit in the middle, on the front there. Yeah, I'm um, starting to feel a little bit annoyed at that. I mean, I can fix it easily. I can just replace the parts or um, clean them up, but it's still annoying. Ooh, my little fire hovercraft, I forgot about that, that's lost the nozzle. I bet some of the bits are laying right in the bottom here. I've got some other vintage cars. 
I do have the figure and the other bit for that as well. Uh, and I've got a mock one. I did a mock. Actually, I should have a few of these dotted around the place. Just little mock for stud wide cards because I absolutely love that style. Still do. I still do love this old style of four stud wide vehicles. Personally, I'd. Uh, I'm seeing double. I am seeing double, aren't I? That's the actual set. That's a one that I actually made. Which is very much like the actual set car. <laughs> there is some differences, but... So, where's the windshield gone for that then? That's disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, there's meant to be something in the back here yeah, because I can see the pattern for it. Well, that's fallen off. Oh, that was, um, I had a tow hook. An old Star Wars set from back in the day. Which, uh, I believe I found the instructions for this. And then I made it up. I think that's how that came about. Or was, no, it was already partially built, so I found the instructions to do that. Right, what else have we got? A little blue tractor here. Back in the day, LEGO did several of these little tractors, all in different colours. And some of them had the front loader on, and some didn't. But I think they're cute little tractors, so I like them. I don't have the rest of this made up. That got dismantled, so I might dismantle this as well. Especially as uh, the white has started to fade on that too. And on the top there. I think that one was meant to be a Canada Post, but obviously I built this out of my uh, all of my own loose Lego, so I haven't got the stickers. Another little uh, late 1970s set. Right when the... The minifigures as we know them today were released and they were released. 1978 they were released. Random, this is why I can't find anything, but I found some random loose Lego in here as well. And a Technic set. And a random figure upside down. An old workman. What have you come off of? You've fallen off of something. <laughs> Forgot I made that. Ooh, that needs a wash. <laughs> Little smart car, police car. <laughs> Can you tell I get bored sometimes and just make random things? I want my police cars out because I actually want to see what I've got police vehicle wise. I've got that little um, doicky truck. Streetlight repair truck, the second one they did. I do believe I actually have the first one made up somewhere as well. I'm sure, actually I know for a fact I've got it somewhere. Where that somewhere is, I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, I can see it. I think. Maybe. <laughs> it might be right up on the end there. Or it could actually still be in here, I don't know. Anyway. That was a... Well, I'm not going to call it a mock, because I got the idea from um, a YouTuber I watched. I cannot remember the channel's name now. Because uh, it's been so long. It's been like two or three years ago I made that. Little shell truck. Yep. Lego had a couple of these. They had the um, set with the... the I'll try that again. They had one of these with the lights and sound set with the little trailer it pulled behind and then I had this uh, standalone one and I think the hinge plate is meant to be black not dark grey but I didn't have a black one when I built that. 
you know, I've got the little steam shovel. I can actually remember the name for this set, but not the set number. I'm sure they call that the steam shovel. That was a car from a Lego Creator set they did last year that I bought a few of. Because uh, my local Sainsbury's put them on sale. What have we got? A little uh, fire quad bike. There's bits of cat fluff and even cobwebs on these. What have we got now? We've got a little police speedboat. Pretty certain some of this is from last year. Last? Last year. There's another old set, an old shell set. The rally race car. You know, I used to love looking through the catalogues when I was little of all these old sets and whatnot. Dreaming of owning them one day. That one day became when I was an adult and became an AFOL. <laughs> I sort of went on a buying spree um, not long after I moved into this apartment. I moved in here nine years ago and not long after that once I'd settled in I um, basically went on a spree on eBay because at the time I didn't know about Bricklink. I don't even know if Bricklink was around back then but uh, yeah I just went on a spree and bought lots of uh, well, I did one of two things. I either bought them from eBay as a complete set with instructions and whatnot, or I downloaded the instructions from Pieron.com and built them out of my loose Lego. Holy mackerel, that's faded badly. That was not like that when I put it in this box. I think these drawers and these tubs are actually adding to it. Well, that was um, a converted streetlight repair truck to a road sweeper. <laughs> That's what that one was. But I have actually got somewhere. I actually can't see it. It's not on any of these shelves. Oh, I can see it because I'm looking in totally the wrong place. But yeah, I have got a, the actual street repair truck as well. Random red car. Can't remember what set she came from. Oh! I think this is the set that came with the car transport. Not the big yellow one, the little um, truck one with the tilt bed. Which I bought two of because I kept one original and turned one into a um, tipper truck. Bloody loose Lego everywhere. Right. Might be a bit of a long video because I've actually got quite a lot on here. Here's one of my tuk-tuks that I made. <laughs> little fire one. The ladder has fell off the roof though. There's another old classic Lego set from the late 70s, I think. Could even be early 80s, that one. Without searching them, I can't remember. There's another little uh, fire truck. And another old truck. <laughs> And another old truck. <laughs> Can you tell I like my old sets? There's another car. I believe that came with... Actually, that, these two may have come with the transport set. No, it was a blue one, I think, that came with it. A black and a blue one. I think what I'm going to do with these, as it's... Well, as I've already got one of these, because again, I bought two of the transport trucks. The um, big yellow ones. Because um, one was um, on sale, and I just wanted the ladder parts and stuff from it, so I bought it for the bits. But I've got the car here, so I may actually do some custom work on this one. What else we got? Ooh, I actually like this, so I'm going to put the blue light thingy back on the back of this. Yeah, that was from the most recent parking garage Lego released. Well, I say most recent. I think it was about four years ago, this one. That's one of the vehicles from it. 
I dismantled the garage when I was changing all my display around but kept the uh, cars made up. There's a Technic set. It's one of three that I've got in here actually. See I don't mind buying the Technic sets like this. I just don't mock with Technic. I'm just not a Technic mocker. Got another car here with the front missing. They get that towed away. <laughs> ah! That's part of that Octane 4x4. So all I'm missing is one of these. And the spare tyre. That's got walkabout as well. Or should that be rollabout? Oh yeah. Hughes Tube did a review on this. And I'll give him a shout out again. Hughes Tube. If I remember, I'll put a link down below to his channel. But he did a review on this, and look, it's not just yours. <laughs> the wheels do fall off. <laughs> this was, uh, I think, one of the, the um, design flaws in this old set. They do like to fall off these wheels. And I've lost one of the goblets that I used for an exhaust. I don't have the minifigure for this set, though. Um, unfortunately, when I bought it on eBay, it was missing the minifigure. Anyway, I do like that one. Just a little mock van I made with the old um, recycling symbol on the side. Little dump truck. I've actually got the parts to make multiple of these as well. Bigger dump truck. Look, look, that's how filthy they are. I never cleaned them when I took them off from display. I should have done, really. Never mind. Um, got that lovely little set as well. That was another purchase from eBay. Ooh. Big windscreen here. I don't know what that's come from. A little quad bike here for the uh can't remember what that sub theme was called now but I weren't that interested in it. Yeah I cannot remember. Just a random windshield. Let's chuck that over there. Got another one of them cars with the front missing from that creator set. That'll get dismantled. set I bought a while ago, many moons ago. I think the um, little bit that sits in there is actually in the bottom of this box somewhere. We've got a bicycle that goes with this actually. It's all part of the same set. I suppose I could put that in my town somewhere. Another random figure in here. Ah, I've been looking for that. Now the other problem is, I don't know where the tow truck is that, that this goes to. <laughs> I find one thing, then lose it, then find the other thing, and then lose the original thing, if that makes sense. I think I just confused myself with that. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway, I found the truck, but it didn't have this. Now I've found this piece, now I can't find the tow truck. That was meant to be a mock rapid response vehicle for the ambulance service, but um, see, yeah, it hasn't worked that well. I mean, it works, but it needs more ambulance signage on it. That's what it needs, and the back wheels putting back on it. Wee, little safari jeep. These are that easy to make and use all common parts. At one point I made a bunch of these in different colours. In fact, I might do it again. Just because I can. <laughs> these little jeeps. Oof, that's mud. Bloody filthy as well. A little bus there. Another vintage set. Oh, I have got some of them made up. Or at least one of them. Wee, little shell race car. I had a bunch of these made up. I might make the others up again. We're nearly there, guys. I have the other camper. 
again, full of dust and muck. I'm not going to put these back in here tonight because if I do, I'm just going to neglect cleaning them all. There's the car for the caravan set, which I think was out last year. Caravan is over on my town. When I say car, it's more like a little SUV. That's what it reminds me of. But I put these little grey rails on the roof. I just thought that completed it a bit more. I think it looks good with those little grey rails on the roof. Like a roof rack. Well, that needs a good old clean. Hmm, just made me think. I might get another one. Or try to replicate this in a different colour. I don't know. I'll have a think on that one. And we've just got literally a couple of um, Technic sets. This one's actually got a pullback motor in it. And something has just fallen on the floor. See if I let go of the wheels. Whee! I have got a review of all of these on the um, on my channel if you want to have a look through. I've just got some couple of minifigures here. He's got McLaren written on the back. And we've got this young lady here. And another tuk-tuk with the uh, a side missing. And that is now it, apart from just a few random pieces in here. No, I'm not going to tip this tub out. Because I've got some muck in here and dust. It's one of the drawbacks of owning a cat. You get a lot of fur everywhere and other dust. But there we go. That's the uh, tub itself cleaned. Oh. I think next year, I say next year because you need sunshine to do the height. Oh, bleh. I'll try that again. The hydrogen peroxide bath. So next year I'm going to try and get some. And I'm going to gather up as much of my white bricks as possible. And hopefully I could probably use this tub that I just had up here. And uh, give it all a hydrogen peroxide bath. Because I have got a lot that needs it. Uh, not just on these models, there's a few models up on the shelf, over the back there, there's uh, some that are in the uh, storage drawers back here as well that needs it. So uh, yeah, I want to get uh, cracking next year. I've been putting it off for a number of years now and it re it's got to the point where it really needs it. Oh, sunshine is such a pain. Actually, back then I had fluorescent lights in here as well, which didn't help. <clears throat> but I have noticed since I changed to LEDs in here, the white Lego just doesn't seem to um, fade as quickly. I know the other colours fade as well, but it seems more prominent in the white Lego. And light grey. That's um, the one that likes to do it as well. Oh. I'm going to have a change around of my, uh, all of my display as well. The only problem is, I need access to that top shelf. Because I'd rather have the Lego models over here on this shelving unit um, than up there. But I've got all that My Little Pony stuff on there, which is in the way. And then I've got the problem of trying to get up there <laughs> to. Uh, get what I want. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it yet. I don't know if these tables would actually take my weight. I 
because I think all that My Little Pony stuff will go up on that shelf because I don't want to leave it, that shelf bare or I'll put something else up there that I don't really, you know, don't really care about. But either way, I want all that Lego from that top shelf down and that's going to be a challenge, especially the, uh, you know, these sets up this end. The police station and the fire station, or both police stations and the fire station, they're going to be a, a pain to get to. Everything up this end I can get to easy enough. But the question is, what would I put back up there? Oh, I wonder what I could put up there, actually. I could put my old laptops up there. Hmm. Be relatively easy to clean them as well because it's hard to clean the Lego up there anyway I digressed a little bit there so uh, thanks a lot for watching and I will uh, talk to you all again in the next video bye